wildlife. Oh. Yeah. Ah. What's a place, yeah. Ah. You know, we can go camping here in our mountain areas. We have mountain lions, we've got other dangers, but I'm not gonna go camping ever if I go to Florida. Oh gosh. In those areas that have no huge. Way. 150 pound th pythons, is that what it was? Just a little, just a little garter snake, yeah. you know, <laughs> kind of going across the trail. Oh, and I'm like, you know, turn and around. Yeah. slurs across, it just yeah. spooks you. I'm like, who can like, I see to sacrifice? You know, right. who am I throwing <laughs> to the ground so I can live another day? Yeah, you gotta run faster. <laughs> right. uh, I think that you should, next time we read that story, you should just say like, they made a colossal discovery and then just say this and then just, this is the picture. Every time and then just let it on. sit there. Don't even describe it. Just let people turn and look. Yeah. Uh, if you're doing every, other things. Every time you we talk about them, yeah. every time we talk about them, I kind of lift my feet up because I just like feel yeah. feel one oh, around. No, I, I kind of the, the feet are up. Yeah. Reminds I, me, I was, oh no, go ahead. I was I was at scout camp once. At, we, I think it was like a Weeblows camp. I can't remember what it was, but I was walking along a trail. Oh, and I thought right. someone put a rubber snake on the trail as a joke because it looked rubber. Yeah, and I literally went up and I kicked it and it moved and I like freaked out because it was it was a real snake. It was like one of those yellow, I don't know the kinds of snakes, but it you was don't yellow. Need to, you don't need to describe it. Yeah, so, yeah, so it was yeah. yellow is like not a natural color for an animal the, like that. Uh, mm, no, bushes, mm, so. not, not a fan. All right, we're uh, done with snake talk. Yeah, I might see, all right, uh, something I can't handle, I might see a couple of night crawlers out there. You know, they seem to come out <laughs> oh, after rain. Oh, I saw rain. the longest yeah. worm outside, yeah, this morning oh. with uh, some of the rain we've had out there. <laughs> That's a it great conversation It was. Next time you're, you know, if you're eating out today, say, hey, like, that was hiding in sir. my lawn. Yeah. yeah, it was there. So uh, yeah, lots of those out there this morning with uh, some of the rain we've had. In fact, uh, temperatures, yeah, we're not too bad. We're 44 degrees in Boise. Winds 17 miles an hour. So we're going to see some stronger elevated winds uh, remain in place throughout today and uh, into Wednesday. Uh, as far as precipitation amounts, we added a little bit more moisture, a few hundredths of an inch in Boise, Nampa. Uh, some of the numbers that have gone up quite a bit. So McCall's now uh, just over an inch and a half of moisture, 1.61 inches near Council, 1.57 inches of rain. Again, that's an area that drains into the Weezer, so they're already experiencing minor flood stage. Going to continue to track some of that moisture as well. Satellite and radar showing a little bit of activity still in the lower parts of the valley. Fairly dry in Canyon and Ada counties right now. Bulk of the precipitation now moving south and east along the front, so we'll see some scattered showers or occasional showers out there for today as we still have this area of low pressure rotating through uh, much of the Pacific Northwest. So we're not completely done with shower activity. Our flow transitioning though from the southwest to more of the northwest, so we're going to experience colder temperatures today. Future cast showing that as that storm system pulls out, again we'll get some of that wraparound moisture coming in from the north and west, so still seeing that chance of some showers into Wednesday. This is just after midnight. Expect Expecting drier conditions to settle in, but the wind's going to stay there. Uh, this is 3 o'clock Wednesday afternoon. Heading into Thursday, we're going to see more increased clouds late Wednesday. Showers likely returning for Thursday. Just a slight chance of them. Again, mostly over the mountain locations, but there's a threat. We could see a few showers, especially Thursday afternoon in the Treasure Valley. So your extended forecast, 51 out there today to 54 tomorrow. Hanging out at 54 on Thursday. Partly cloudy on Friday with a few more sprinkles returning for Saturday. Temperatures do warm up a little bit closer to normal. Normal is 61 for the time of year. 59 on Saturday, 58 on Sunday. Chance of moisture likely returning next week. So 54 degrees with a chance of rain. Models showing that we could even see some showers into Tuesday as well. All right, appreciate